Playing and working in the shallows of our lives. Mediocrity. No threats. No dangers in the shallows of our lives. Underachieving. No hazards, perils, risks in the shallows of our lives. Underperformance. Combat. War. Hatred in the shallows of our lives. No resolution. Lawyers, doctors, priests in the shallows of our lives. Fine with status quo. Events stay the same in the shallows of our lives. No alterations. Need transformation advancing into the depths. Searching for answers. Need godly preachers to move forward into the depths. New lands constructed. Assisting, helping, proceeding into the depths. Caring for each other. How deep are the depths? Limitless, reaching. Depths do not confine. Sing, dance, paint, write. Act expression talents free. Bettering the world. Building in the depths. Dedicated to uplift. Alter and transform. Awaken. Listen, creativity is stirred. Mankind is aided. Hush. Hush. And listen, someone is calling your name. Hear God in the silence. Rise and create. Sometimes imagination pounces. Mostly it sleeps soundly in the corner, purring. Terry Gilmets. To awaken to creativity is a call to adventure. A journey that begins from the spark of imagination that when fueled by passion, results builds works. Significance ensuing the prize of accomplishment. Creativity is a course not limited to the artists and innovators. Rather, creativity is a path from which the journey of life is explored in its fullness and grace. Recent literature suggests that everyone possesses creative thinking skills and that all of us, to varying degrees, exercise creative thinking and that we are only limited by our own internal voices in terms of how we recognize and participate in the process of creative thinking. thinking, 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 thinking. Creativity is forged in the fire of the unconscious and the chaotic depths of the unknown where nothing is predetermined and everything is possible. Its presence is heralded by the seductive spark of an idea or image that brings with it feelings of flight and the divine brilliance. Yet no sooner does the spark rev us up with the feeling that we can do anything, more often we find 101 reasons to cast away the idea. Worse, allow the heavy foot of uncertainty to stomp it into the dustbin of possibilities or could have. The great novelist, playwright Langston Hughes, wrote of the extinguished sparks of brilliance as dreams deferred. 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 What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun, or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat, or crust in sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe. It just sags like a heavy load. Or does it explode? The word creativity, according to Oxford's English etymology, is derived from the Latin word creatus, which means to bring forth, produce, and cause to grow. Creativity lives just below the surface of our conscious thoughts. You and I can nurture this divine gift to blossom and grow. A foolproof method for sculpting an elephant? First get a huge block of marble, then chip away everything that doesn't look like an elephant. Author unknown. American educator Mary Lou Cook defined creativity as inventing, experimenting, 
growing, taking risks, breaking rules, making mistakes, and having fun. Creative effort uncovers new possibilities and options. Our creative imaginations distinguish us as people with unique talents. Creativity allows us to connect the apparently unconnected and see uniqueness in events and situations that otherwise appear ordinary. To quote artist Paul Klee, art does not reproduce what is visible, but makes things visible. How can we access our natural creativity to solve problems and feel the happiness and satisfaction it brings? First, imagine. Second, take action. We are always creating with our imagination. Every action and creation begins first in the mind. We must awaken the dreams that lay dormant, involve the unconscious, apply the conscious, and combine the visual with the logical and take action. If we visualize the perfect outcome to an objective or problem, then ask ourselves, what will lead to this outcome? The answer is arise to the challenge and step out of the box, take action no matter how impractical they might initially seem. Imagination is the beginning of creation. You imagine what you desire. You will what you imagine. And at last, you create what you will. George Bernard Shaw. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. Pablo Picasso.